It is Milan derby day. The city comes to a complete standstill. It means everything to everyone in these parts. The atmosphere in the stadium reflects that. Noise and colour and no little hostility. The passion just about tangible. You've got to spare a thought if you can for the players and managers. They have to try and keep a cool head amidst all this fervour to try and play not just the occasion but the match itself. And that is never easy. But there are, of course, many decent players. There have been many greats through the generations. And there is no doubt that while certain players might struggle with the atmosphere, there are some who become heroes today. It is close to unpredictable. Whatever happens, though, I think we are in for one of those footballing treats. And we have in front of us this gloriously imposing arena, absolutely picture-perfect for a game of this nature. Well, this is a friendly, but a friendly only in name. Well, I think we know what we're in for, whatever the circumstances that exist when these two meet. Losing really isn't an option, making this another intense, feisty clash, which should keep everyone on edge. The fans are more nervous than the players, to me, confirming an atmosphere of, of angst. Try telling them there's nothing riding on this. see making a difference here yeah Samir Handanovic he has magnificent reactions and his incredible record at saving penalties is testament to that having a, a reliable and authoritative keeper like him makes a, a massive difference to a team's confidence levels and believe me Peter I'd expect him to make an immediate impact here well, quite no argument for me on that one Kolarov, Kolarov drives it forward, Pjanic brings it over to the other flank. Hernandez, Rebic looking to run onto it, he's left his man, hits one! Oh, no shortage of confidence there. Well, the run was really impressive, the finish was depressive and expectations were not met. And it's Gomez, looks to thread it through. Milan have a free kick. Ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. Working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. Gets it back. Hoists it forward. And they try as they might, they just couldn't get into an attacking area. They needed a better pass there. Giroud. Kessier. Just brushed off the ball there. 
And now the breakaway. Now it's Lukaku. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. That's offside. Yes, it is. And it's Gomez. Diogo Dallo. That's gone a long way up and away. Diogo Dallo. Pjanic battles to win it back. Martinez. Jack with the challenge, and he has given away a free kick. He knew what was coming. That's a yellow card. defending but that'll do and now they can launch a counter Kolarov cuts it out forward it goes Ericsson plays it forward and helps available out wide strong punch And it's Pjanic. Looking to break out here. Kessier. Rebic. Oh, that had to be more accurate. Lukaku gets it out to the wing. Eriksson. Hakimi. Eriksson. Pjanic. Deftly done. Chance! He scored! Well, let me assure you that scoring just before half-time is always a real treat. And when it's one of your top talents who delivers it, it just seems to fuel confidence that little bit more. And that is about as cool as they come. He picked his spot expertly. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. to Milan, get themselves into the lead. Still a fragile lead, though. They can't afford to sit on this. Tried to play it through. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. That could spell trouble. And we've reached half-time. Well, there we are. Off they go for half-time. The breakthrough did indeed come in the first half. But there has only been that one goal. It is very, very tight. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. And the second half gets on the way. Milan need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by just the right amount of caution. And I think the more experienced players can oversee that. Diogo Dallo. It's being played forward. Giroud. He's in. He's gone for it. And in it goes. They are right back in business. 
His position was perfect, the invitation was there for him, and his response absolutely clinical. Yeah, and all engineered, Peter, by some smart running and movement. That's already something to admire, but how about the pass? Just wonderful, loved it. added a whole new complexion to the game. Ah, oh, look, Peter, I was on the fence before a ball was kicked, and uh, I still haven't moved. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Diogo Dallo. Giroud. It's one! Well, oh, that was nice, but not quite the end product required. It's easy to say it, but difficult to stop it when runs in behind her are being made like that. And it's Ericsson. Ericsson spreads it towards the left. Ashley Young with the crossfield ball. Lukaku. Someone looks like he's in need of protection here. Look, stopping him is imperative. It may not eliminate trouble, but it'll reduce it. Now it's Lukaku. Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Well, the ball's come loose and the chase is on. Lukaku plays it out to the wing. Ashley Young. Throw it. Hernandez can get it clear. It's a great shot at goal! Oh, that is very close. Ah, that's a great effort. There was very little backlift to indicate what was coming. Has he picked him out? Gomez going through. Good clearance and very necessary. Inter Milan are able now to make their substitution. It's been on the cards for uh, a few moments now. Goes for the cross. Frank tries to clear, and it's played forward. And out to safety. Frank gets it back, and he has been fouled there. Played out to the right. Kessie gets it back. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Inter Milan making consecutive changes here. Yeah, it's pretty obvious as to who was going to be taken off. His energy levels began to, to sag, and he was never going to last until the final whistle. Now it's Ericsson. Hit into the middle. He's not going to find his target. Ericsson. Foot in. That's surely a foul free kick. to miss it well we could be headed for a scenario in which next goal is the winner that chance could have been it too
Ericsson with the short one. Ball's loose, who's getting there? And it's Pjanic. Inter merit full marks for their attitude and application in trying to win this. It means an awful lot, obviously. Well played, he saw that coming. Look, this can still go either way. It might be flowing one way, but there's still time for some ebb. Gomez. He's had a good look and given a corner. Oh, smart save. In once more. Well read, he sorted that out. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Shiru has a pop! And he just whacks it away. So nearly the total turnaround. They simply ran out of time. It has ended all square. Well, nobody is totally satisfied, but it was a, a more than decent game, a super watch.